deleted my other two videos because I look like a dumbass and my review made absolutely no fucking sense. So for the intro, hi guys, my name is Eza and welcome to my channel. So for today, I'm going to do a review or talk about the book A Change of Heart by Sonali Dev. And this book, I have to say, I received from the publishers via NetGalley. I will put the link for NetGalley down below. So anyways, this book, we read about Nikhil and Jess who are going through some really shitty times. Nikhil just lost his wife to some traumatic, traumatic incidents, I guess. And Jess also has a really traumatic past. And then they meet on a cruise where Jess is trying to get to know Nikhil or use him for some info or other. And from there, the story starts and it delves into the whole illegal organ trade in India. And this book is told from four different perspectives. The first two is obviously Nikhil and Jess. And the last two is... DCP Rahul Savant and um, the criminal or criminal mastermind for the whole illegal organ trade at the time is criminal, what do you call it, Asif Khan, sorry. So I like how there are four different perspectives or point of views in the book because it gives you different stories or different backgrounds, different histories. Like for example, when you read Nikhil's um, perspective. He talks about his wife, he talks about what he went through with his wife after his wife, his coping mechanism to live without his wife, his denial over what actually happened. Like essentially he's trying to kill himself with alcohol but he doesn't really have the balls to actually just go and take a gun and shoot himself. And then when you read about Jess, you can see how she dotes upon her daughter. No wait, her son. My bad. Her son she talks about what happened to her in the past and how she couldn't do much about it so instead of like prosecuting said person she accepts his offer and just decides to just move on and live her life even though it's still she still suffers from PTSD from said traumatic experience with DCP Rahul Savan you can see that he is still young in the police force and he's still very, I would say, um, it's not it's not naive. It, I would say he still believes in the justice system. He doesn't think that anybody in the justice system is already corrupt. He's very inexperienced. It's, it's like he he is not really in reality right now. And then when we read about Asif Khan towards the end, you can see about why he does uh, the illegal organ trade, who he takes the organs from, where he gives it to, essentially how much it makes or how much he makes and how he lures or gets information from people by giving them either drugs or money. And then you can see how the organ trade is not just from India, but it also extends to Dubai and to the whole world so you can see the whole network of it <clears throat> which is quite interesting and you can see why that he's doing this because money is a very powerful thing and yeah the people he gets it from make it too easy for him to get it and what else I loved how this book talks about illegal organ trade not into too much details regarding the statistics but more towards, like I said just now, where they get it from and who they give it to, the organs, that is. They get these organs from people who are essentially people you don't miss, people you won't even notice exist. They're people who are living under the poverty line. They're people who are drug addicts, who are prostitutes, who you essentially essentially even if they have families that care about them their families are so poor they just can't do anything and even if they do go to the police what can they do they don't have proof they don't know where their daughters or sons have gone for all they know i don't know they might be dead so yeah and then like they get the organs from all these people who are basically nobodies and they give it to 
people who need it, who are somebodies, who have money. And it makes you wonder as a human being, is it worth it? Yes, it's unethical. But it's more of the question of how far will you go to save somebody you love? I mean, like, all you need to do is just pay some money and turn a blind eye. Just imagine if it's, it doesn't have to be your girlfriend. Let's make it more impactful. Let's say it's your child. Your only child is dying. And the only way you can save them is through an organ transplant. But to do it the correct way, to do it the legal way, it takes forever and your child does not have that time. So how far will are you willing to push? How far are you willing to go to save somebody you love? So this book essentially touches upon that. It makes you question, how far will you go for somebody you love, you know? And it's interesting, really. If theoretically you're talking about it, obviously you would say, no, I will never do that. It'll never happen. But what if? What if it happened to you, you know? Will you do it? Will you turn a blind eye? And just to save somebody you love, you're willing to kill somebody else whom you don't know. And then, um, the writing uh, in this book is superb. It makes me, I swear, this was the first book that I gave 5 out of 5 rating on my blog. But it kind of not became the first because I, I procrastinated so long on writing the review. I just like posted it, I'm sorry, I just posted the review today. Because it's Monday, so on my blog is Book Review Mondays. <clears throat> it made you, the writer and the writing made you empathize with Nikhil and empathize with Jess and Nikhil's wife. I can't remember her name. But you empathize with them and then it makes you feel all these emotions reading it. You feel angry because... There's nothing you can do, especially if the whole police force is corrupt and then every everybody's doing this whole illegal organ trade because of money. You feel angry, but you don't know what to do. So I like that the writing evokes all these emotions in me from empathy to anger to sadness to just frustration because it's still happening in the real world. And the last thing that I like about this book was that even though the main characters themselves had a happy ending, the whole organ illegal organ trade issue was not resolved because obviously you can't resolve it immediately and, and you just resolve it just because, you know, you busted a few criminals. Because it also reflects in reality. So, yeah, um, I gave this book a rating of 5 of 5 on my blog, on Goodreads. Essentially, I gave it a rating of 5, and I highly recommend for people to read it. And that is it for now. Bye, guys!